ASL TV fans, welcome to another episode of What Dave Says. Today I want to talk about why Chiefs fans will force Baxter out uh, if they continue booing the players. Let's talk about the events of the last weekend. Um, Kingston and Carter was booed throughout the 1-0 uh, win over Chipper. After the game, uh, Baxter came out and said um, he threatened to quit. He threatened to quit if the, the, the fans didn't stop booing players and uh, you know asking him to make changes um, in a rather aggressive way. If you think back in time, Baxter's made this threat before. He, he threatened to quit the club after uh, the boo boys got into Kingston's back in a, a previous season, uh, yet he didn't go through with it. So what, what's different today? I mean, will he, will he go through with this threat if the Chiefs fans um, keep on booing and, and negatively affecting the team? You can understand where his feelings come from. He's got a side that's 13 points clear. They've been the most dominant side in, in, in South Africa, largely for the last three years. They're in the African Champions League again. So Baxter must be thinking, why on earth are my fans booing me when, or booing my players, when I've given them, I've produced a, 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 such a successful club? I mean, are they mad? So while Baxter's made this threat before and didn't go through with it, it could be that he's just getting fed up and he's, if the fans, the small segment of the fans don't start to get behind his side after all his efforts, uh, maybe he'll just say, look, he's had enough and he'll go. Because having a team that are totally dominant, they're on their way to winning the title and having and your fans still don't get behind the team, even though Kingston does miss sitters, is absolutely ridiculous. So that's what Dave says.